According to local legend, numerous griffins once roamed the islands off the coast of Maine. A male griffin made its home atop the rocky peak of the largest island, where it turned to stone for a long hibernation. This gave the island its name, Griffin Rock. Ah, that's only a rock shaped like a griffin. Earning this lad pioneer folklore patch is lame. Let's see how close we can get. I think he spotted us. We need to protect ourselves. Oh, now you're talking. Just a little trick shot I've been working on. The ricochet. You woke him up! Sir, either I am in need of a wheel alignment, or... We just had an earthquake. Graham? Way ahead of you, Dad. Checking the sensors now. Chief, may I remind you that Cody is hiking on Mount Griffin? Cody, get off the mountain and watch out for rock slides. I don't see any rock sliding. But I do see a car flying. A flying car? I don't believe any airborne automobiles are currently registered on the island. Oh, no. Anybody hurt? We're okay, but there isn't any driver. Danny, see if you can locate the Rubios. Their car just tumbled down Mount Griffin without them. On it, Dad. Hop in, boys. I'll take you home. Getting this folklore patch is awesome. <laughs> Dad, we've had a string of burglaries in the last 30 minutes. Couple bicycles, four satellite dishes, and a toy rocket? That's an odd assortment. Simultaneous thefts. I'll open a case file immediately. Danny, did you find the Rubios? Up at Griffin Point Park. They were having a picnic when their car just took off into the air. Like something had snatched it, they said. Something invisible and terrifying. I added that last part. It did look like that car was being carried, and then just dropped. I'll add attempted car theft by an invisible something to the case file as well. And all this happened right after the earthquake. More specifically, it was a volcanic disturbance. Our seismic sensors put the origin on Wayward Island. But don't worry, there's no threat of an eruption. I would like to get to Wayward and replace this sensor, though. For some reason, it's offline. Good idea. Take the Darby Ava. Hey, can we all go? Uh, why? Yeah, that island's nothing but an easy place to get lost. It'll be exciting. I was just reading that female griffins used one of the nearby islands as a nesting ground. Maybe it's wayward. Old Timer's Guide to Main Island Folklore. Yeah, I'm out. Any day I'm not trudging across Wayward Island is a good day. Sorry, Cody. Aww. You do know those are only stories, right, son? Yeah, I know, but... Then why waste time looking for griffins if they're not real? Because it would be an adventure. We get enough adventure, thank you.
It'll also help me write a report for my Lad Pioneer folklore patch. <sighs> it's a reason. Count us in. By us, do you mean... You too. <laughs> Chase and I have work to do here, investigating the stolen objects. Good luck solving the mystery. And good luck to you in locating the nest of an imaginary eagle-lion hybrid. What are we looking for? Female griffins. Seriously, should have known. Don't worry, Blades, you won't see any. Says here, many believe female griffins turn invisible while away from their nests. That way, nothing can follow them back. Invisible? As in something invisible snatched up my car? Hello? You're right. Do you think there's a connection? No. no. sensor is near the island's center. We head north. Keep an eye out for anything that could be a griffin nest. What's it supposed to look like? The book says griffins only gather the strongest materials to build it. Rocks, branches... Or maybe cars or other metal objects taken from the island. Just saying. An invisible griffin is stealing metal for her nest. Of course! Told you this would be exciting. Metal. Just like us. <laughs> Keep watching the skies, Blades. <sighs> I better get a lad pioneer patch for this. <gasps> All metal. Any other connection among the stolen items? Each was taken from the island's higher elevations as if something invisible did indeed snatch them from the air. Hmm. I don't remember coming this way when we installed the sensors. Are we lost? Maybe. Something's really interfering with the compass. <laughs> level of iron. Could be a lodestone. What's a lodestone? A naturally occurring magnet. And magnets interfere with compasses. There's something carved on here. Are those griffins? <gasps> but griffins aren't real. Or so I've been told. like someone thought they were. Those are probably Viking runes. Norse explorers left carvings on a bunch of islands. Some Vikings did believe in mythical creatures like griffins. What? It was in that History of War anthology. What if this marker was put here because Wayward Island is the nesting ground for griffins? Those stories in your book had to come from somewhere. Uh, did you feel that? You mean the urge to go home? More like an urse of fly. Hey. Hey! What's going on?
It's... it's the engine from the Darby Ava. Dad, do you read me? Something's jamming the signal. Come on, let's go find the bots. You guys okay? Oh, felt like something grabbed me. And then just let go. I know what you're thinking, and it was not a griffin. No one's thinking that. Griffin! Except maybe Blades. A griffin? It almost got me! You really saw one? Yes, through there! Let's get back to the boat! Slow down, Blades. We're gonna have to check it out. Besides, can't drive a boat without a motor, and ours is sitting back there in the forest. Oh, we're so doomed. It was very kind of Doc Green to lend us his floating lab. Certainly was, but I forgot how slow it moved. This is pointless anyway. There's no sign of the Rubio's car or the tow truck. But they were flying in this direction, straight for Wayward Island. Uh, has anyone heard from our Griffin searchers? Graham, Cody, are you? We better get over there. It was through there. But I'm pretty sure it wants privacy. Hang back. Wait! It's just a statue. <sighs> yeah, <clears throat> of course. What else? I'll tell you what else. An entrance! I think it's an ancient temple. I wonder if this place is in the book. I bet it was built by the same Viking explorers that carved the pillar we found earlier. Does it not bother anyone that this is a temple for griffins? Just because Vikings believed in them doesn't make them real. Doesn't mean that they're not. Here, it says, through the centuries, the nesting grounds have been considered a sacred place and are well protected. Protected by what, I wonder? I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> 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 Look at the water. Oh. This is unfortunate. Chase. That was an unexpected journey, and most unpleasant. Chase, where did you come from? One moment, I was on the floating lab with the Chief, Cade, and Danny, and the next... An invisible griffin snatched you up, right? Curse our metal hides! Hello? <sighs> Boulder, where are you? Over here! What in the world? This whole courtyard is booby-trapped. Stepping on random tiles triggers some sort of rudimentary air cannons. That is diabolical. Yet kinda genius. This is why I don't like griffins. 
or Vikings, and I'm not crazy about the lad pioneers at the moment either. Now what? How are we getting Boulder out of there? Chase! Grab! Cody! I think I see the Darby Ava. I thought Graham could drive a boat better than that. I don't think this one was his fault. I see sunlight coming through on the far end. It might be a way out. Blades, can you fly through here? No, too many low dangly things. If we drive, perhaps we can outpace the cannons and reach that exit along with Boulder. <sighs> you two ride with Chase in case the rest of us are too slow. Cool, can I drive? No. Blades, think you can sprint it? You will be amazed by how fast I can run with giant rocks flying at me. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. nest. Amazing. Question, if that's a real nest and those are real griffin eggs, where's Mama? Mama doesn't exist. That nest is carved out of stone and so are the eggs. Uh, he's right. It's just another Viking sculpture. Then how did all that metal stuff get up there? I for one am not giving up on the Mama theory. Guys, real or not, we found a griffin's nest. That's why we came for the adventure. I was unaware there were electronics in the Viking Age. Boulder, lift me up. Me too. It's the damaged quake sensor we've been looking for. And that's the cliff where we installed it, way up on top. The trimmers must have sent the sensor tumbling all the way down to land here. Uh, so what's it doing now? Looks like a power surge. Uh-oh. Stone all around us. The nest is a giant magnet. And when the sensor discharges energy into the lodestone, it creates a super magnet. Strong enough to pull metal all the way from Griffin Rock? Okay, so there's no invisible Griffin. We're still stuck! I'll try shutting it down. <laughs> no go. Once the sensor's power surges over, the magnetic pull should cease as well. So we just have to wait for it to shut off again. into the lava if we don't shut off that sensor. We need to throw something up there to break it. There's not a clean shot. Don't need one. Come on, Cody. Keep 
Keep her steady. Excellent aim code. I want a slingshot. Like that impressive. A ricochet code? Sweet. Yeah, well, this isn't my first Griffin search. Lucky for us. Um, Cody, earlier, you know that brief moment when we thought this might be an actual Griffin's nest? Yeah? That was kind of exciting. Thanks. Although the griffin's nest wasn't real, it was fun thinking it might be, even for a while. That's why old stories get passed from one generation to the next. People enjoy wondering, what if? I'm Cody Burns, and this concludes my Lad Pioneer report on Main Island folklore. What about my patch? I'll do the rescue! Fried chicken, salad, lemonade, and our very own private shady spot. Thanks, Cody. No problem, sis. I don't get it. If Danny likes Taylor, why does she make him eat her potato salad? I think that's her meatloaf. What was that? Well, sorry, Taylor. Picnic's over. Robot copter mode. I'll call the team. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Not so close. Do you see what that thing does to metal? Dad, it's headed toward the docks. Boulder, follow me. We'll cut it off. That device is irreplaceable. Uncle Woodrow? <sighs> Woodrow. Uncle Woodrow! Why didn't you tell us you were coming? I can't believe it's you. Uncle? Human term for sibling of a parent. In this case, Chief's brother. Chief didn't tell us he was coming to visit. Or that he existed. Wonderful. Now, I'll answer your questions. Just let me look at you a second. Cody, you've grown a foot. Now you'll need three socks. <laughs> Did you kids get my postcards from Dwarma? Or the scorpions I sent from Ecuador? Um, never got those. Oh, I thought I sent them. May have forgotten. Gee, imagine that. Woodrow, this uh, floating menace belongs to you. Good to see you too, big brother. Come here, give me a decent hello. <gasps> oh, uh, okay, Woody, uh, okay. Oh, high-grade titanium, laser drill, self-propulsion, and sonar tracking? That's quite a device, Uncle Woodrow. <laughs> yeah, it's my deep earth stout, designed to drill underground and collect data, and you won't believe what it found. This is it, Charlie, what I've been looking for my whole life evidence that aliens may have visited the Earth centuries ago. Well, don't everybody get all excited at once. 
We're happy for you, Uncle Woodrow. It's, it's only that... I just wish your homecoming had been a little less destructive. Hmm, sorry, Charlie. The DES must have accidentally activated when I was getting off the ferry. <sighs> Speaking of machines, ho oh, oh, ho, looks like you still have the best toys. Where on earth did you get these guys, Charlie? Uh, they're rescue robots, uh, state-of-the-art emergency stuff. Watch what they can do, Uncle Woodrow. Robots, vehicle mode. Whoa, -ho -ho! impressive. Hey, what's the mileage like? <laughs> now, Woodrow, you... Hey, what's for dinner? Oh. All right, go easy, Woodrow. This is not Dad's old jalopy. Well, that's Uncle Woodrow. Uncle Woodrow is an archaeologist, sort of, and an inventor, sometimes. He's been around the world a lot, I think. He doesn't seem anything like the Chief. Yeah, look at me and Graham. Would you ever think a guy like me could have a brother like him? Come here, you! Uh, Cade! <laughs> I'm sure he meant it in a nice way. All my research has convinced me. Pictographs, pyramids, Stonehenge. They're alien artifacts, every one of them. But uh, you kids probably don't believe in aliens, do you? I'm willing to consider the evidence. Nope. I, I no wouldn't way. say that we don't. Sit down and eat, Charlie. Dinner doesn't serve itself. Somebody has to cook and clean up. Well, that's good old Charlie. Uh, nose to the grindstone. Say, pass the potatoes, will you? Then I'll show you what my DES found. I don't get it. Why is Chief's brother so eager to find an alien anyway? I know! With all the amazing things humans have on their own planet, why bother searching for... us? Because we're awesome? But who sent scorpions as gifts? No thank you. Who knows? Maybe he brought some scorpions along with him. Ah! Very funny. All I know is Woodrow Burns forced me to drive over the speed limit and I was helpless to stop him. Now, most people look for aliens in outer space. But my research made me realize we should be looking in inner space, underneath the Earth. So, I built and dispatched six DES spheres to gather data from all across the planet. Five of the devices are still out there somewhere gathering data. But this baby uncovered all the evidence I need right in my old hometown. Well, under it. A cavern containing proof of a lost alien civilization. Housing structures. Looks like rock formations to me. Communication signals. Or water dripping. Even aliens themselves. Shadows on the wall. That's the difference between us, Charlie. I'm curious to know for sure. So, I'm gonna borrow the town's old forger. You remember, we found it when we were kids, down where the tunnels end. That giant driller? It hasn't been used in years. I think I can get it running. Then I follow the coordinates the DES brought back, and I'll finally have my proof. That is awesome! Hey, you can come with me, Cody. Alia, a once-in-a-lifetime journey to the center of the Earth. Oh, wow. Sign me up. Sounds great. Woodrow, my family can't just drop everything and go off on some spur-of-the-moment expedition. Especially... Especially with me, right? Give us a minute, will you, kids? You've always been the dreamer of the family. I get that. But you never see one dream through before you're off chasing another. Charlie, that's not... Like when we were kids. I'd have to put out the fires you started with your bottle rockets, and you'd already be off building a flying bicycle. Well, not all of my expeditions have gone well, I'll give you that. But this time, with you and the kids along to keep me focused... We're not going, Woodrow. And you can't borrow the tunnel forger. That's the end of it. Sorry, kids.
The human-sibling relationship appears to be a complex one. Don't bots have brothers or sisters? Nope. We're all on our own. Lucky. But it must get kind of lonely. There. I wasn't sure at first, but... You were right to contact me, Heatwave. So that blue crystal is... Energon. A new supply that could benefit all Autobots for years to come. Heatwave, prepare your team. I will be arriving in the morning. And then, we go underground. Dad, where's Uncle Woodrow? Must have gone out early. Who knows where? I might have an idea. Looks like you were right, Cody. Wait here, okay, Boulder? Uncle Woodrow! Uncle Woodrow, what are you doing? Well, I recharged the power cells. Now I just have to enter the coordinates for the cavern, and the forger can start digging. But my dad... Your dad thinks my expeditions are harebrained. That I don't think things through. No offense, Uncle Woodrow, but I'm not sure that stealing the forger is the best way to prove him wrong. <laughs> You're probably right, Cody. But you have big brothers. You know how a nod from them is the nicest feeling in the world. I just want to show your dad that I'm capable of doing something he can be proud of. What's happening? The cells must have surged. We're on autopilot. Seventy miles per hour at a forty degree angle. No way I'll catch them. Graham, come in, Graham. rig. The transport is for carrying Energon to the surface, once the rescue bots and I harvest it from underground. We'd like to help you if we can. I do not wish to endanger your family, Chief. Great. Yet another trip to the center of the Earth we won't be making. But we will require the coordinates your brother found. Yeah, a bit of a problem. Woodrow's kind of uh, disappeared. Heatwave! Chief! Optimus, thank goodness. Chief, Cody and your brother. The Forger took off tunneling with them inside. Then let's roll to the... We'd never reach it, Heatwave. It has too much of a head start. It appears our mining expedition is now a rescue mission for the entire team. Rescue bots, vehicle mode, then on to my transport. No offense, Optimus, but how can you pulling us on a trailer be any faster than going ourselves? Let's just say there is more to this transport than meets the eye. We're nearing the coordinates. Should be leveling off. Oh, the controls aren't working! My brothers are always telling me not to press strange buttons, but I think that might be... The kill button. Go for it! <laughs> Get out, Uncle Woodrow, before we're buried!
Whatever that means, I agree. This looks like the place your DES photographed. Yep, we're smack dab where we're supposed to be. But, no way back. My dad will launch a rescue mission. He probably already has. Cody, no one even knows we're down here. Who's gonna tell them? Your bulldozer? Chief Burns, I suggest you and your family hold on to something. What? Ah! 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 Is he crazy? He's Optimus Prime. Relax. Statistically speaking, that maneuver should not have worked. Uncle Woodrow, over here! Huh. Must be the tunnel the DES dug on its exploratory mission. So it should lead to the surface, right? Well, even if we could reach it, it's too small to fit through. Wait. I've seen that before. The alien housing structure. Ah, oh, your dad was right. It's just a rock formation. <laughs> and there's my alien communication signal. Uncle Woodrow, that doesn't mean we won't find other proof. You never know. There just might be aliens after all. <laughs> Yeah. They found us! I told you they would! I'm not so sure. on earth were you thinking? Didn't I tell you- It wasn't his fault, Dad. The Forger just took off and- No, Cody. Your dad's right. It's my fault for sneaking off on this goose chase. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry for that. Well, thank you, Woodrow. Apology accepted. The worst part is, the entire trip was pointless. No lost civilization, no signs of alien life. You're right, Charlie. I've wasted my whole life just chasing shadows. As soon as we get to the surface, I'll head home and get out of your family's hair. Why is he talking about hair? A metaphor? I'll explain later. But Uncle Woodrow, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. But I have to face it. Atlantis, Shangri-La, no such things. And aliens have never visited because they don't exist. What? He is family, Dad. You can't let him go on thinking he's failed. I mean, if it were Cade, I'd try to cheer him up. Maybe. Tell him, Dad. Tell me what? 
Woodrow, little brother, I don't know about Shangri-La or Atlantis, but I can tell you as a point of fact, aliens do exist. You don't have to do this, Charlie. It doesn't make me feel any better. Well, maybe this will. Team, introduce yourselves. Heatwave, pleased to meet you. My name is Chase, and I am proud to be your brother's policing partner. Boulder. Blades. And now that I can speak freely, can I just say how terrifying those spiders were? Not gonna fall for it. I am Optimus Prime, and Chief Burns is correct. To the people of Earth, we are aliens. Our home planet of Cybertron is most likely unknown to you. We tell you what galaxy it's in, but you haven't heard of that either. I was right. I was right! I just... I just... My DES worked! Charlie! It found aliens! I just never figured you'd be the one hiding them. So... You guys! Cybernites! Cybertronians. Right. You've been leaving artifacts on Earth for what, like centuries? That is a long story for another day. Oh, I knew it! Well, thanks, Charlie, for trusting me with your secret. Like Graham said, we're all family. And that's what family does. They also do this. Hey! <laughs> Stop it, Charlie! <laughs> this gesture appears to be universal in sibling relations. Let's get to work, team. We have some energon to harvest. Watch it! stretch your roots and grow up tall. Do you think he'll be lonely out here on his own? We can come back and visit any time, Boulder. Plus, after today, Leafy will have lots of friends. Griffin Rock's Plant a Tree Day promises to be better than ever. Because this year he won't give a three-hour speech? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to my tireless efforts and uh, your taxes, may I present our town's newest tech, the Power Planter. With this machine to do the dirty work, we can keep our hands clean for more important things. <laughs> What's not important about spending time with nature? to do all that planting. Pretty noble. Right, Boulder? I guess. But how do those trees know they're loved that they're never touched or talked to? It takes a living thing to care for other living things. Today on I Dare Me, I'm here with a new power planter. My notes say it's programmed to avoid all heat sources. Let's find out. Have it, folks, 100% safe. And a very short episode. Mr. Mayor, can we wrap this up? Looks like a storm's on the way. Now relax, Chief. Trees love rain. Patrol with four bats and stasis. He's like
this thing need new batteries already? Get to safety, Mr. Mayor. We'll handle this. Uh, well, if you're sure you don't need me, Chief. <laughs> Danny, Kate, clear the area. Graham, see if you can manually shut off that planter. I need backup! Hey, crab hands! Plant this! Ugh. ready for the outdoors yet. It's dangerous out here. I think I see what caused the power planner's strange behavior. If the lightning had struck anywhere else, it would have simply shut off the machine. But the blast hit here, compromising the planner's central processing unit. And that is... The system's Achilles heel. Which actually means less to me. That's a bad thing. So with its programming scrambled, maybe the planner will just stay underground. There's a high probability. And that's a good thing. We'll keep a close eye on the park for the next few days. With any luck, we've seen the last of that power planter. Ah, finally. A well-earned break from the demands of office. Give that back! This hair is spoken for! Yeah. Slow down, Mayor Lusky. Your backyard is being overrun by what kind of animals? Uh, maybe those kind? If that's a migration pattern, it sure is a strange one. Especially since those animals don't normally migrate. Hang tight, Mayor. I've got another call coming in. Badger's eating your fruit stand. We'll, we'll see to it. Hold, please. Groundhogs and porcupines? Better get to your bots, team. Apparently Noah's Ark just docked in Griffin Rock. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! <laughs> Does his alarmed response mean six more weeks of winter, sir? I believe the groundhogs have to see their own shadow chase. Let's round them up. <laughs> this is like that game at the arcade. I assure you, sir, I am deriving no amusement from this. <laughs> Perhaps a little. Where'd you say the porcupine was, Cody? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'll let you handle this one, bud. My pleasure. Oh, it likes me. Sure, that's what that is. So what are we looking for again? Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, so you want to play dirty, huh? <laughs> Hold on, I'll get you out. You might want to hold your nose. Why? Ah! <laughs> Thanks, partner. At least now you're clean. I still don't understand. Isn't sitting in boiling water sort of like making soup out of yourself? It's called a hot tub, Blades. And if you don't get that, please don't ask me to explain saunas. Okay, Cody, the mayor's yard is clear of critters. What's next? Let's see. 
Whoa! Hold on! Uh, I could do some help here. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen. And I know scary. Not sure how long I can keep him out, guys. Can you hurry? We're on it, Cody. Late, fly close. Your downdraft should shoo those bugs away. How close is close? All those twitchy legs and feet? Creepy. They'll be a lot creepier if they get inside the firehouse. When you're right, you're right. All clear, Cody. Those bugs will probably be a lot happier on the ground anyhow. But why did they leave it in the first place? Thanks, Virginia. The zookeeper is releasing the animals back into the wild. Hopefully this time they'll stay there. Porcupines, ants, groundhogs, badgers, they have to have something in common. Yeah, they all ruin my day. Well, each of the species can live in underground burrows and nests. Underground? That's where the power planter went. You think it scared the animals out of their homes? How? By planting trees in them? With the machine's programming fried, its behavior is totally unpredictable. We need to find that planter before it does something dangerous. Finally, a chance to enjoy my hot tub in peace. Oh, it's cold! <laughs> my water heater! But how... Huh? That's strange. Chief Burns, I need you at my house immediately. It's an emergency. Mr. Mayor, I know that badgers in your backyard are a nuisance, but... Don't let this overgrown garden tool eat me! I think we found the power planter. Let's move. Stop, please! I've always been nice to lawn mowers. Stay calm, Mr. Mayor. Power up and energize! <laughs> Mr. Mayor, that planter doesn't stand a chance. Uh, where is it? <sighs> Underground again. Then can somebody get me down? Careful! Relax, Mr. Mayor. We've had plenty of practice with Mr. Pettipaws. And I thought hot tubs were supposed to be relaxing. Looks like the insides of the mayor's water heater are gone. A violation of code 651A in an elected official's own backyard, just when you think you have seen everything. From the pincer marks on this metal, I'd say the power planner is our thief. Hmm, strange that the planner would be drawn to a heat source. Or maybe not strange at all. What makes you say that, Cody? There's a pattern. So far, we've seen the power planter tear up trees instead of planting them. Now, it's going after heat sources instead of away from them. It's doing the opposite of what it's supposed to. Oh, the lightning must have reversed the machine's programming. This is great. If we know the planner is after heat sources, we can set a trap to catch it. But the island's full of hot spots. We're heat sources. Yeah, for all we know, the planner's beneath us right now. Uh, wouldn't Boulder be able to detect that with his sonar? It doesn't work well on moving objects, but we could measure ground vibrations with a seismograph. That's a... Uh... I know what a seismograph is. Sorta. Of. Cody, pull up a map of the warmest locations on Griffin Rock. The power plant is bound to show up at one of them. We'll split up and keep watch. 
I can feel the heat from over here. And if I can feel it, the planter can feel it. And if the planter can feel it... Just watch your seismograph blades. I think I got something. I got something! What is it? It's huge! Oh no! It's multiplied! Wait! Those might be cows! Yep, it's cows. Yep, this is definitely where the planter's going to show up. How can you be so sure? It's looking for heat, right? Well, the hottest thing on the island is right here. Ew. Stay alert, everyone. We're getting a reading over here. Chase, grab the planter. Cease and desist all gardening activity. You are assaulting an officer of the law. <laughs> Your litany of offenses is uh, being meticulously recorded. Sauce. The rib smoker is heated up and ready for the PTA to dish out delicious. Uh oh. Dad, a new heat source just popped up. There's a barbecue going on at the school. Call the school and warn them. Chase and I are tailing the planter now. Got it, Dad. Come on, somebody pick up. Huxley. Huxley Prescott here. I'm busy delivering the hard-hitting news you crave. Leave a message. Uh, there has to be some way to warn them. Cody, we've lost the planter. Do you see anything on the cameras? Uh, I'm not at the command center right now, Dad. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I didn't think there was any other way to warn the school. According to my readings, Cody should be right underneath us. Boulder, smash in and grab him. Not yet. But the seismograph says... Patience. It takes a living thing to take care of a living thing. Look, buddy, I trust your instincts, but... Now! <sighs> Thanks, Boulder. <laughs> I'll never doubt you again. Cody, are you okay? I'm way better than Rolling Thunder, Dad. A go-kart we can fix. A 
done taking risks. Time to bring the heat to the planter. Doc Green created these boil coils to superheat water. When we turn them on, we'll be the perfect planter bait. Why do I need a boil coil? I'm just air support. The more heat we have in one spot, the faster we'll get the planter's attention. You say that like it's a good thing. Yes, Mr. Mayor, your hot tub will have to stay cold for now. Trust me, it'll be worth it. All the heat sources in town have been shut off. Activate the boil coils, team. Ooh, I'm all warm and fuzzy inside. Well, more warm than fuzzy. This must be what Chief means when he complains of mm, the heartburn. The planner better show up fast. Even I'm getting hot here. Dad, I'm getting a reading. All right, team, we're a go. Burns's get to cover. Bots, be on the ready. Either that's a really big gopher or... Rescue bots, initiate phase one. Let's uproot this planter. Formation vehicle mode. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Ready for phase two, guys. Chase and Boulder, fall back. We're turning off your coils now. Finish him off, Heat Wave. Bring that scoundrel to justice. With pleasure. Looks like it takes a living thing to take care of malfunctioning tech, too. There. That should keep you safe. Guess the power planner is good for something after all. Remember, Leafy, this isn't goodbye. It's see you later. <coughs> there, that should do it. Thanks, Dad. I bet now Rolling Thunder's faster than ever. Something I can help you with, Mr. Mayor? Uh, yes, I, I, I was... Wondering if it's all right for me to use my hot tub yet. I'd prefer to have my team of experts check it out first. Just to make sure everything's safe. Of course, of course, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, over, turn on the bubbles. We have to Those get one of these at the firehouse. Marco! Next time, I'm getting an indoor spa. <sighs> no, no, stay back! Ah, covered!